But first, now at 5, a central Indiana mother is dead, her 11-year-old son in critical condition after this devastating fire. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Donaldson. I'm Debbie Knox, and that fire broke out at an apartment building on Indy's west side this morning. CBS 4's Lindsay Eaton talked to neighbors who turned into witnesses. Firefighters found a mother and son up on the second floor. Hours later, investigators are still trying to figure out what caused this fire. It just start getting bigger and bigger. Flames and smoke took over this West Side apartment complex, trapped inside a mother and her 11 year old son. Within minutes, firefighters pulled both of them from the burning building. After that, they brought out, you know, two people, which I immediately start praying after that. Crews were called out here to Meadow Lake Apartments around 7 o'clock this morning. Around the same time, Eric Jimenez was getting up. I was waking up and um, I noticed that. In my window, there wasn't any sunlight coming through, and um, that's whenever I realized that something was wrong. The fire was so big you could see it from the interstate, and some drivers called 911 to report it as neighbors watched as it got closer and closer. I seen the fire just start splashing like everywhere right across from my car. So I immediately got in my car and drove it on the grass away from this fire. Five cars were torched, two were Eric's. He's one of 14 people now without a home. I'm speechless. I, I, I mean, I lost all my, all my things were there. I, I don't, I don't know what, what to think, to be honest with you. Neighbors saw first responders rushing the mother and her son to the hospital. The 42 year old mother didn't survive. It tore my heart up inside. Investigators believe the fire started in the garage. An accelerant detection canine was on scene as crews are still trying to figure out the cause. Neighbors want to know how this happened, but more importantly, they want the grieving family to know they care. My heart just sinked into my stomach because that's those people are families and that's somebody that's actually loved by someone and you know have families that actually care about them. We do know there were working smoke alarms in the building that alerted residents. A firefighter was taken to the hospital to be checked out for heat related injuries. On the city's west side, Lindsay Eaton, CBS 4 News.